Today, we take for granted nightly city skylines, street lights, and the overall power that drives our modern convenience. But, could the wise men of ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia have had knowledge of electricity, even electric illumination, or even electric-based technology? Within the framework of some archaeological evidence, the answer seems affirmative. The most widely cited evidence that the ancient Egyptians used electricity is a relief beneath the Temple of Hathor at Dendera, Egypt that depicts figures standing around a large light bulb like object. The socket is represented by what appears to be a lotus flower with a stem that runs like a cable along the bottom of the device. Inside the bulb is a snake-like line winding its way out of the lotus flower socket. According to supporters of the hypothesis that this depicts an electrical light, such as Eric von Däniken, the snake represents the filament of the bulb. Von Däniken created a working model of the bulb in a laboratory which works emitting an eerie, purplish light. He used the same measurements, including two metal beams that look like arms stretched into the big end of the bulb, and a wire connecting those beams with the socket at the other end. But, where did the power come from to light the bulb in ancient Egypt? An artifact found a ways away from Egypt, outside of modern-day Baghdad, shows some electricity production was possible in the Middle East thousands of years ago. This artifact is known as the Baghdad Battery. The Baghdad Battery is simple in comparison with today's batteries. It consists of a clay jar with a stopper made of asphalt. Through the stopper is an iron rod surrounded by a copper cylinder. It is believed that the jar would have been filled with a common acidic substance such as vinegar that would allow it to produce the electricity. Replicas of the battery have shown it works. We try to figure out, how did the ancients in Egypt achieve their artistic and technical perfection in total darkness in the immense underground corridors, that are found in countless monuments in different necropolis through Egypt? Just how did they manage these incredible feasts without a constant light source? That is a question that has been partially answered by archaeologists and historians but these theories haven't been accepted by everyone.